All right, uh, so polynomial derivatives. These are all polynomials, right? Like ax squared plus bx plus c, or it could even be ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, you know, anything like that. Um, I asked you to find the derivatives for this. I think you found a couple. Wait, I want you to draw. I think you found a couple. Um, but what are the derivatives of these? Well, the derivative of this one, dy dx is equal to 4x plus 3. For this one, dy dx, oh, dy dx is equal to 9. For this one, dy dx is equal to 8x minus 5. And I did all of those in my head. How did I do that? It's because I'm a freaking genius. No, I'm not a genius at all. There's a much easier way of doing this uh, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if you kind of find the pattern because if you look at it 2x squared this whole term became 4x so what happened the exponent went down one and what the exponent was went out front in fact you know what I'm going to go ahead and give you another function y is equal to uh, 2x cubed plus x squared over 4 minus 3x plus 6. How are we going to find the derivative of this? Well, let me tell you, it is a lot easier than all of that uh, jazz you just did because what you do is you look at each term and the general trend, I mean, this is what, what you found out. You, you, um, you, you did the hard work, and hopefully from this you found out you can cheat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first term, which is 2x cubed. I'm going to take the 3, and I'm going to put it out front. So it's going to be 3 times 2x. And instead of cubed, I've now got to reduce this by 1. <clears throat> so it's going to be 2. Now I'm going to go to the next one. I've got x squared. I've got to put this 2, and I've got to put it out front. So it's going to become... 2x, uh, and this 2 is, now gets reduced by 1, so it's going to be x to the power of 1. Uh, all of this is over 4. <clears throat> all right, and I'm going to go to the next one, 3x. Well, you got to kind of think that the, when I say x, it's really x to the power of 1, even though it's kind of imaginary. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 out front times 3x, and now this 1 has to be reduced, so that has to be 0. Uh, and then this 6, this kind of like, there, there's nothing there, you know, so it just disappears. All, all these constants disappeared, right? The, the uh, 9 here disappeared. Uh, I didn't have a constant there. It disappeared. Constants, if there's no variable there, it disappears. And that's it. So let me just tidy that up a little bit. dy dx is equal to 3 times 2 is 6x squared plus... Uh, 2 over 4 is just 1 half, or you know what, I'm just going to say x over 2 uh, to the power of 1. Uh, x to the power of 0 is 1, so this negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. This is the uh, derivative of this function here. Wasn't that easy? Let's just do another one, but I need to make a new slide. All right, I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to make it a little bit more hard. Um, in fact, no, let's do another easy one. Uh, let's do y. Okay, I keep forgetting to hit the, the pen button. The pen button is here. I'm sorry, you have to watch this. All right, so y. Oh, that's the bloody bell, isn't it? Crap. Uh, y is equal to 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8x minus 9. All right, uh, I'll, I'll go let everyone in. Alright, uh, so where was I? Uh, I had to go let everyone in, so I forgot what I was talking about. I guess I've got to solve this. Alright, so this is nice and easy, right? dy over dx is equal to... Okay, so I'm going to put the 3 out front. 6 times 3 is 18x. This 3 is going to be re reduced by 1, 2, minus. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8, because I'm going to put the 2 out front. 2 times 4 is 8x. Uh, reduce that by 1, so it's going to be, uh, actually I'm not even going to put the 1, because that just looks silly, um, but it's like an imaginary 1 there, yeah, I'll put the 1 there, it doesn't hurt anything, plus 8x, so the 1 goes out front, 1 times 8 is 8, uh, 1 reduces to 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so this is 8, and then the uh, constant just disappears, and we are done!
So here's my next question. What if I gave you y? Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's do um, 3 over x squared minus 5 over x uh, plus 6. All right, how are we going to do this one? Well, this is a little bit trickier, but it's not, because all you've got to remember is, uh, I don't know what the mathematical rule is, because I'm not a math teacher, but uh, 1 over x is equal to x to the negative 1, right? 1 over x squared is equal to x to the negative 2. So let's just rewrite it. So I have 3x to the negative 2 minus 5x to the negative 1 plus 6. Uh, okay, and now it is a piece of cake to do dy, oh, oh, dy over the derivative of this is going to be, I'm going to put the negative 2 out front, negative 2 times 3x, now this goes um, down 1, right, because it always gets reduced by 1, so this is actually going to become negative 3 minus uh, negative 1 goes out front, so negative 1 uh, minus, oh, geez, minus negative 1 times 5. All right, so that's going to become positive in due course. But uh, x, uh, negative 1 gets reduced by 1, so it's going to be negative 2 plus uh, 6. There's no x. There's x to the 0, zero right? You can't really do anything with that. 0 times 6 disappears, so uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, we are done. So all I've got to do is tidy it up now. So I've got negative 2 times 3 is 6. Let's put the x underneath, x cubed, because you know, over x cubed is the same as x to the negative 3. Negative, negative is a plus. So this is going to become 5 over x squared. Bob's your uncle. Fanny is your aunt. Why do I keep doing that? dy over dx. So we are, are good. So let's just uh, give you some practice. In fact, I'm going to put it over here. Let's do some polynomial. So let's do um, 1. y is equal to x to the ninth minus 3x to the sixth plus 21x cubed plus 9. All right, number 2 y is equal to uh, x squared minus 3 over x squared plus x. Uh, number 3, let's just do another. Um, uh, oh man, they're so easy. 3x fourth minus 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus... 9x plus pi. And then let's just do one more for luck. Let's just do uh, y is equal to, you know, 3x to the 4 minus 2, because I'm being lazy, you can tell I am, plus 6 over x squared um, minus 9 over x plus pi. There you go. Have fun with that. All right. Have a stab at those and see how you go. Good luck. Bonne chance. Bonne soirée. Good luck. Success.